for a long time, uh, there were very few choices for patients in terms of what they could take for preventing stroke. Aspirin was good enough for very low-risk patients, but for the average AFib patient, it wasn't potent enough to prevent stroke. Uh, a drug that's been on the market all over the world for decades is a drug called warfarin, which in the U.S. is also called Coumadin. And this drug is very good at preventing stroke, but is uh, very finicky to take. You have to change your dose, you have to get your blood test monitored. If you uh, have any changes in the amount of uh, leafy green vegetables you take, for example, your dose requirements can change. There's interactions with drugs. So this is a very cumbersome drug to take, but it's the oldest and safest one we know. Over the last year or two, there have been several new drugs that are hitting the U.S. market that uh, are now readily available to help prevent stroke. And the major difference between these drugs and the older generation Coumadin is they require a lot less monitoring and in most cases no blood testing. Some of them are once a day uh, and easy to take. And more importantly, all of them have a lot less bleeding than Coumadin. And when we take uh, or provide recommendations to patients about taking blood thinners, we do really worry about bleeding because a bleed in the brain is like a stroke. So you're preventing a stroke and replacing it with a bleed. And therefore, these new drugs offer some promise if they have an ability to have less bleeding in the brain while offering the same benefits of preventing stroke.